On the agenda for this build is installing a roof rack, five panels of 200 watt solar. So he's got a thousand watts of solar up there. He has a WeBoost antenna. He would like shore power installed as well as his entire electrical system. We're gonna build a bed frame. We're gonna take out that hideous AC unit and we're just gonna make it look better and <laughs> put it back in. <laughs> Our client wants to put his refrigerator where his passenger seat is. He's already removed it. He had a swivel seat. We're like, no way. We're gonna figure out a way for him to have his refrigerator under his bed on a drawer slide so that he can have his passenger seat back. <laughs> and he would like to mount a TV. We're actually just getting the wall ready and prepped for him to install that at a later date, as well as his fan on his other rear door. So we're gonna make a template out of metal for him so he can take the window out, replace with a piece of metal, and install the fan at a later date as well. All right, so we woke up in Granby, Colorado at the Lazy U Ranch, where we met our next client, Rodolfo, and he brought us some breakfast this morning. Super sweet. This place is fancy. Okay, what is this? And how am I supposed to eat it? <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. I still can't tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's one Rudolfo power. One Rudolfo! <laughs> one blitz. working on the build and today we need to run to the store and pick up a few things in town. Um, we are battling with some on and off rain so we've been moving things kind of back and forth and underneath our moonshade. day four on our build for Rodolfo and we're gonna work on mounting the antenna on his roof rack, finishing up the bed, 
garage space, um, creating a frame for his bed. And then after that, we're pretty much just waiting on Amazon delivery so that we can finish wiring all the solar panels and getting the whole battery system set up. Here we go. Sean is working on adding the DC to DC charger into a space under the hood. I never even knew that was a thing. So he's working hard to install that, make it fit, and get everything ready to plug in. So instead of running this wire all the way over there to his battery, we were able to take it right here to the fuse box. After a couple days of rain, we are back working on the build today. It looks like sunshine all day. So we'll be working on getting all of the electrical system wired up and the components mounted. day I don't even know what <laughs> still here working on the van electrical is all set up the bed still hasn't been complete because we need to get to the electrical stuff so we don't want to cover it up and we have to finish installing the AC in the back window that's been a nightmare Now we're working on custom fitting a decorative panel to his ceiling and this will allow him to have the most headroom in here. And we're gonna cover up all of his insulation.
minutes and then it goes away. And then we pull all the tools back out and then it starts raining again. <laughs> Fancy in there. Do you have five star paintball in your hair? I do have paintball in my <laughs> hair. That's it. <laughs> this is what we were able to do on a van build in eight days. Hope you enjoyed. Like Hanukkah. <laughs> like Hanukkah. <laughs> Getting camera ready. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rodolfo and this is my spaceship. Come take a look inside. Hi, I'm Rodolfo and this is my spaceship. Come take a look. Hi, I'm Rodolfo, and this is my spaceship. Come take a look inside. Wow. Perfect. Were able to do to help Rodolfo with his van build in one week. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions, leave us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any needs for your build, find us on Instagram.